Hey, Gold Digger, Kimberly Olson here back for another episode of Hashtag Get Lit, where we crush your business in less than 10 minutes. I'm outside today because it's a beautiful day in Austin, Texas, and I know before you know it, it's gonna be really cold. So I would love to know where you're tuning in from. We have so many people who are now subscribed to us on YouTube. Some of you are watching this on Facebook. And I just wanna thank you so much because I know there's a lot of people training out there. It means the world to me that you are following along here with us today. So first off, I wanna know, do you have a super fan brand? Do you know how you're gonna show up on social media? Do you have a strategy to your Facebook Live content or your Facebook group? Or you're like, how am I supposed to work my business in? How am I supposed to work my products in? Kimberly, you keep telling me to stop selling and spamming then how am I supposed to even get new customers and people on my team? We're gonna talk about that and more in this episode of Hashtag Get Lit. Stay tuned. So when it comes to a super fan brand, I want you to let go of the image of the gold digger girl or other people that you follow on social media or even things like Nike. That's not what a brand is. A brand, that's like a logo and a name of a brand. A brand is the feel of who you are. How are you showing up? What are you known for? So when it comes to being able to get customers, new team members, clients, they're not gonna come from you selling something on social media. They're gonna come from you and the value that you put out there. They're literally going to be attracted to you based on the content you're putting out. So if you've heard the saying content is queen, consistency is key, okay? So however you're gonna show up, it's that consistency, the, the way that you're being uh, very aligned with what you're teaching, how you're showing up, being yourself on camera, all of these things come into play. But when it comes to a super fan brand, what I want you to first do is I want you to ask yourself, if I could be known for anything on social media, like a year from now, two years from now, if I could really build this out, right? I get some great coaching from Kimberly or someone else and I really learn the ropes here, right? Like I really dig in, I get laser focused. You know what I'm talking about. You might be having some downtime, might be taking a walk in nature or maybe get a little quiet time to yourself at night and the dreams come, right? The dreams, there's that tug at your heart and you start thinking about what, what if, right? Well, if you start thinking about what if, really dream, okay? I want you to ask yourself, who do I wanna be? And if right now you're gonna, the doubt's gonna come in and go, well, you're not, you know, you're not a top earner. You're not a top recruiter. Who are you, right? Who are you to teach it? Let all that go. Okay, if you learn the skill sets you need to learn to come onto social media with a purpose, right? If you learned all that, who do you wanna be? What is the things that you love to teach and talk about? What are you learning? What are you known for? That's it. That's it. People get so hung up on this that they just don't start. I mean, be honest. How long have you been thinking about this? How long have you been thinking about your personal brand and the audience you're going to build and the Facebook lives you're supposed to do every week and that Facebook group you're supposed to show, be showing up in every week, attracting people through you, through your content? How long has it been? Be honest. You are in paralysis analysis. You're overthinking it. I'm here to taser you through this phone to tell you, wake up, wake up and get started. Wake up and just go. When I first started, I was talking about health and wellness stuff. Wake up with lemon water, how to have more energy. Oh gosh, natural deodorant. That has nothing to do with anything. Like I literally was like, here's a brand my friend makes. Here's some from Whole Foods. Like I wasn't even promoting uh, a network marketing company's products, right? I mean, there was no rhyme or reason, but I was showing up. I was consistent. I started to build an audience. And through that process, I started asking myself, I really like this, but what do I want to talk about? Right? Like w that was stuff I knew, but what did I want to talk about? I honestly wanted to talk about all the new stuff I was learning. I'm one of those people like my husband was like, what do you want for your birthday? I'm like, I want to, I want you to send me off to um, NLP to be certified in NLP. Like that's what I wanted for my birthday. <laughs> I love learning. I have PhDs in natural health and holistic nutrition because I love learning. My husband's like, I was like, I want to get my doctorate in naturopath. He's like, how about you like use the skills you already have from what we spent all this money in? And I'm like, oh yeah, I love learning. So I wanted to talk about that. So I did, I took my audience along for the ride. I'm like, hey guys, I'm learning all this stuff about social media, it's really working for me. I'd love to share it with you. And they were so hungry for something different. This was three years ago because everyone was teaching cold messaging and spamming. And I was like, mm -mm, I'm not doing that. That does not feel right to me at all. And they loved that. So I was able to take something that I knew 
fitness, health, wellness, and I was able to bring them over to a totally different segment into business coaching. Talk about yin and yang, right? Yin and yang right there. Can you do the same thing? Yes, you can absolutely do the same thing. Just start. Start with something you feel comfortable with. You don't have to be the end all be all. You guys, there's been times when I'm like, I want to talk about that. I will literally go watch some YouTube videos, do a little Google search, and I'll gather some data so I have the content to be able to teach on it. You don't have to know everything. That's what Google's for. That's what YouTube's for, okay? You can tell people, hey, I just read this article. I watched this great training. Hey, I just participated in a three-day online event about you know, building out funnels and email marketing, and this is what I learned. Nobody's gonna care. In fact, they're gonna go, wow, she did a three-day conference on it? I should pay attention because I'm not going to go do a three-day conference. I'll just listen to her quick video. It's unbelievable what you can do with this, okay? In order to get a personal brand going, personal fan brand, a super fan brand on social media, through online, I think that's a lizard. I'm like, what's that little noise down there? I'm outside, as you know. So if you really want to get into this and you want to do this, you have to build a personal brand, okay? Again, it's not a logo. It's not any of that. You're branding yourself. It's just who you are, how you want to show up. You're not branding your company. You're not branding a product. If you go to my wall, you probably can't even figure out what company I'm with. But I have recruited so many people this year and they've all come to me and I wasn't convincing. I wasn't hard closing. I wasn't following up a million times. I was just like, yeah, I'm keeping an eye on it. Or they were like, hey, I want to know more, more about what you do. I'm like, oh, this is it. Love to, you know, chat more about that. And, yep, I see. I see some movement, guys. Oh, it is a lizard. Oh, I see him now. There was a lizard that came to our house last week. This is what happens in Texas. It changed its colors to the floor tile. It was like this kind of like creamy color. It was nuts. I was like, Scott's like, let's get it out of the house. I'm like, good idea. Anyways, back to the point at hand. Okay, so this is your homework. You're gonna stop being paralyzed and you're gonna go for it. And you're gonna go forward with confidence and conviction and you're gonna go forward with imperfect action. And by doing it, you're gonna get better. By doing it, you're gonna get clear. By doing it, you're gonna build that audience. Again, how long have you been thinking about it? What could you do in the next 90 days, 120 days, the next year, if you really buckle down and started showing up consistently? What could you do? could be pretty magical. And I would love, love to hear back from you saying you implemented this and it's working for you and you're loving it and you're having the time of your life, okay? It's fun to create content. I love creating content. I love connecting with you. I love when I see comments and feel free to let me know. I love when you guys shout me out. I'm like, it's not for me to feel like, oh, she shouted me out. Trust me, I'm, my confidence is strong. I'm good. I love seeing you get excited about learning and implementing. I love that. It lights me up. It absolutely is my love language, okay? And you can do the same for somebody else. So that's your homework today. Get into action, imperfect action, okay? I hope this was helpful. Like I said, take a screenshot of us right now together with the lizard hanging out right next to us. Oh, it's a big one. He's climbing up the tree. And uh, throw it in your stories. Tag me at the, uh, on Instagram, the Gold Digger Girl, G-O-A-L, and I'll give you a special Gold Digger shout out. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, get lit in your business and set your soul on fire. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.